Hi everyone. Today we're going to discuss basic private equity waterfall model and the concept of commitment and unfunded commitment. But before starting on this video, please watch the videos on capital call and distribution. Links are in description. Let's start with commitment first. Commitment is the promising amount by investors towards the fund. In private equity, committed capital refers to the pledge of a capital contribution to a given fund by an investor. Since opportunities may develop at uncertain times, the investor's capital may be drawn upon at any time with the contracted period generally 8 to 12 years. When a PE firm lines up a fund, they seek subscribers and those subscribers must be ready to deliver funds immediately. in order to invest in underline let's understand unfunded commitment unfunded commitment is the portion of commitment which is not called by fund manager an investor's commitment to a private equity fund is drawn over time if a private equity firm can't find suitable investment opportunities it will not draw on an investor's commitment and an investor may potentially invest less than expected or committed the basic formula to calculate unfunded commitment would be total commitment minus contribution plus any recallable distribution recallable distributions are basically the portion of the distribution that can be recalled in the future so it increases the unfunded commitment let's understand commitment and unfunded commitment with a basic example For example, an investor might commit 50,000 into a private equity fund. This is called capital commitment, but he may pay only 20,000 on signing the agreement, which is the contribution. Later, he got the distribution of 20,000 out of which 10,000 is recallable. So, unfunded commitment would be 40,000 after calculation, 50,000 Minus twenty thousand plus ten thousand. Now let's discuss what is the basic private equity waterfall model. It is important for investors to properly access a private equity funds waterfall or the allocation of distributions between the general partner and limited partners in order to ensure proper alignment of interests. There are four primary components to a distribution waterfall. Return of capital. All money received from investors should be returned. Preferred return. Assumes investor would have earned income had money invested elsewhere. Typically, 8% can be compounding. General partner catch up. 50% of amounts distributed to general partner 50% to limited partner with no more than 20% of total profits going to the general partner 80-20 split 80% of profits to limited partner and 20% to general partner if waterfall reaches to this level general partner receiving 20% of all profits now let's understand between american versus european waterfall structure The American waterfall supports a deal by deal return schedule. It allows managers to get paid before investors receive all of their invested capital and preferred return. In the European waterfall, the allocation of the distribution proceeds is determined at a whole fund level, and each distribution reflects the aggregate performance rather than being tied to an individual investment. I hope you are clear with the term commitment and unfunded commitment and basic PE waterfall model. Let us know in the comment section if you want more insights about the waterfall model. We may create a separate video on it. Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for latest updates. We'll catch you in the next video. Till then stay healthy and connected.